Proposition 25. Our current paradigm cannot adequately explain the wide range of diversity we see around our visible universe. The sizes and shapes of galaxies, the orientations and relative inclinations, gigantic superclusters and filaments, and massive supervoids. Some very diverse and different in density and speed, yet at the same time so many that share a precisely similar resulting angular momentum. If the entire pocket of relative space-time mass energy was spinning fast when it exploded, that might retain a large percentage of angular momentum in the resulting axis of rotations of galaxies and large quasars. But then with 10 to the power of 80 particles stuck inside a tiny space at the start, we cannot explain the nature of certain superstructures or supervoids that we see across our visible universe. Fast spinning dense expansion would be much more uniform than what we have recently begun to learn about the true nature of the cosmos. Successive collision theory can explain so many more nuances that abound than a singularity can, without having to propose unexplainable temperatures or densities or speeds. Successive collision theory sure seems to make a heck lot more sense to me than a singularity. William of Ockham, March 7th, 1342.